These here are called Inga beans or ice cream beans. I'll just eat that like that. Yum, that is really good. So these are my ice cream bean plants that I grew from seed uh, from the fruit that I showed in a previous video and they are doing awesome. These guys are just about four months old and they're putting on a heap of really lush green growth. So I planted these seeds at the beginning of winter so they've had three months of winter plus three weeks of spring and even with the cold temperatures they've managed to grow really fast. Um, so you can imagine if you planted these in summer how fast they would grow. Uh, but yeah, they're doing so awesome. Um, I've had these all growing indoors because uh, they would probably die from the frost, uh, especially while young. So um, I wanted to show you guys the leaves. They're looking really cool. So to start out with, the young leaves have these double kind of leaves coming off a small segment. And as the plant gets bigger, it grows two segments, which two leaves come off each one. So there'll be another one that comes out of here and then the new growth will come out here and a new leaf. So it's really cool how they grow and they do have these really nice big green tropical looking leaves and um, yeah, they're just such cool plants to grow and really easy to grow as well. Most of them I planted directly into the soil and they grew really well. All I did was just plant the seed on its side horizontally in the soil about an inch deep. Uh, because the root comes out of one end of the seed and the top comes out of the other end. So if you're not sure which way to plant it vertically, just plant it horizontally and it will work its way and um, gravity will sort it all out. The other way to grow the seeds is that you can just place the seeds into a slightly moist paper towel and then into a plastic bag um, and then they'll take maybe four days to start growing the root and then you can know exactly which way to plant it uh, vertically, which means that the plant won't have to bother uh, following gravity and growing out like that. It can just go straight up the way that you plant it. So um, yeah, very easy to grow. I've had a 100% germination rate. And that's basically what I've read online, that they have a 95% germination rate and that has mirrored in um, the results that I've got. So the other thing about these that's really awesome is that they only take three years to fruit. Um, and another cool thing is that most of the seedlings will produce fruit identical to the mother plant so they do grow true to type which is also really cool because a lot of fruit trees don't do that so you'll often get different fruit to the mother plant it could be better it could be worse but you never know um, but at least with this one you know that you're going to get some decent fruits uh, identical to the mother plant which is um, really cool to know so I do have a few uh, individual plants that I wanted to show you this dude over here is quite interesting um, it has really narrow leaves compared to the other leaves on the other plants and I've only had this one that's grown like it so I'm not sure why it's um, done this. It's really interesting though so I will um, keep an eye on this guy and see how he does because it could produce a really interesting tree um, with really unusual leaves. The other one that I wanted to show you is this guy over here because it's quite a good example of how quite a lot of the seeds have grown. So you might have seen in the photos that a few of the seeds looked quite deformed and almost cracked in the wrong places or had segments coming off them. And those ones quite often grew multiple trunks, uh, two to three trunks each. Uh, and that includes this one here. So what I wanted to know is if I try and transplant this, will this be able to 
be uh, split into two individual plants or does it have to stay as an individual? Um, so what I'm going to do now is tip it out and we'll see how the roots look in comparison to where the seed is. Okay. She's pretty root bound in there. <laughs> it's all piling up in the corner there, all the roots. It just actually fell apart from the seed. That's pretty cool. So here is the other little piece of the seed. So that just came out of one like that. Okay. And the plants are just falling apart. So I pretty much um, can just separate them as they are. And that almost doesn't surprise me in a way because I do remember that I took a few of the seeds out of the fruit and they just naturally split apart. You might remember in my first video um, one of the seeds that I took out was starting to split and um, if they naturally do that then you probably will get more than one plant out of that one seed. So um, yeah, pretty interesting how that's grown. I will add in a video clip which I took a wee while back which sort of shows you one uh, type of deformed seed that produced two plants from the one seed. So let's go check that out. Check out this weird inga bean seed. Um, usually you'll just see that one half with the root coming out, but this has an extra piece with a whole new plant. So there's two heads coming off one seed and they're all joined from one root system. <laughs> weird, huh? So anyway, what I'm going to do is actually plant these two um, plants within this one pot mainly because I don't have a lot of pots left and I want to grow some other stuff. As you can see, this is already taking up a heap of pots. Um, I've gone into putting them into yogurt containers, so um, yeah, I'll just put these in into this pot for now. They don't have massive root systems anyway, so um, they can be in there for a little while longer. So let's chuck them in. So there we have it, my ice cream bean plants that I started from seeds. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and come hang out with me on Facebook. Got lots of interesting updates on there for you to see so don't forget to come and have a look. Alrighty, I'll see you guys in the next video.